In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the American Shorthair Cat. The American Shorthair is a popular feline breed, and for good reason. These kitties are not only playful, yet calm, but they are also great for big families with children. This particular breed is the perfect cross between an independent feline and a needy one. If you've always wanted a social and affectionate kitty that also requires some alone time for itself, then the American Shorthair is the perfect match for you. It requires special nutrition, proper health care, and frequent playtime sessions. American Shorthairs are known as working cats due to the fact that they were once bred for the purpose of catching rodents. They have strong, robust bodies, but contrary to what their muscular build suggests, they aren't aggressive. Here are some of the interesting facts about the American Shorthair cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. American Shorthairs History They aren't listed on the manifest, but cats were undoubtedly among the passengers and crew that disembarked from the Mayflower when it arrived at Plymouth, Massachusetts, in 1620. Their ratting abilities made cats valued members of ships' crews, and they may well have made their way to the New World even earlier, on ships that carried settlers to the Jamestown colony in Virginia, Spanish explorers to Florida, and Vikings to Newfoundland. Some of the descendants of those seafaring cats, known prosaically as short hairs, or domestic short hairs, became what we know today as American short hairs. Cats were valued on land as well as at sea. Farmers, shopkeepers, and householders all needed a good cat to protect their stores of food from mice, rats, and other vermin. The short hairs were solid, hardy working stock, well suited to the tough conditions that prevailed on the untamed continent. Such good hunters were they that a publication from 1634 credits them with saving a New England colony's crops from squirrels and chipmunks. By 1895, short hairs had made enough of a mark that they were exhibited at the first cat show in the United States. The Cat Fanciers Association recognized them as a breed in 1906. To differentiate them from random bred cats, also known as domestic short hairs, the pedigreed felines were given the name American Short Hair in 1966. The cats are recognized by all registries. 2. American Short Hair's Physical Characteristics American Short Hair is a muscular cat with short ears and a round face. It is known to have more than 80 patterns and colors but Silver Tabby is known to be the most common and popular one. Their fur coat is dense and thinks that protects them during harsh weather. His build gives him the agility and endurance he needs as a first-rate stalker, and his heavily muscled legs make him capable of pouncing, jumping, and climbing to get his furred or feathered prey. This is a medium-sized to large cat, slightly longer than he is tall. A large head with a full-cheeked face gives the American short hair a sweet, open expression. He has medium-sized ears that are slightly rounded at the tips and large, wide eyes. 3. American Shorthair's Personality The adaptable and good-natured American Shorthair retains his hunting ability, but these days he is more likely to be a family companion, a job at which he excels. He has a middle-of-the-road temperament, being calm but not comatose. The American Shorthair is moderately active and enjoys a good playtime as much as the next cat, but he's not overly demanding of attention or activity. As befits a working-class cat who is made good, he is smart and enjoys playing with puzzle toys and interactive toys. He has a sociable nature and isn't the type to hide under the bed when visitors arrive. This is a placid cat but one that doesn't especially like being carried around. Let him stand on his own four feet. He may or may not be a lap cat, but he will always appreciate having a spot next to you on the sofa or at the end of the bed. 4. They're gentle and laid back. The American Shorthair Kitty's temper is part of what makes these cats so desired all over the world. Aggression and destructive behavior are foreign to this particular breed. These cats aren't fascinated with climbing on top of the curtains or exploring high countertops. They remain gentle even during playtime. Though accidents do happen, of course, a pea stain on the carpet or a broken vase are the last things you should expect from an American Shorthair. Unlike other demanding breeds, American Shorthairs can be left home alone for a short period of time. Their laid-back and placid tempers mean they won't ruin your house or apartment. If you think you can't leave your particular cat home alone, you can opt for an interactive pet camera. You can monitor the kitty from afar, feed it treats, and even play recordings of your voice. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. American Shorthair's Health Concerns Both pedigreed cats and mixed-breed cats have varying incidences of health problems that may be genetic in nature. American Shorthairs are generally healthy, but be sure to ask a breeder about the incidence of health problems in her lines and what testing has been done for any that are genetic in nature. 
Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a type of heart disease, has been seen in the breed, but it is not yet known to be genetic. 6. Tendency towards obesity. Even though American shorthairs are muscular and aren't lazy, they are more prone to becoming obese than most cat breeds. So it's important to monitor your kitty's weight and make sure it has a well-balanced diet consisting primarily of dried cat food. This feline breed requires exercise on a daily basis. Interactive cat trees, ball toys, laser chasing games, and so forth offer great ways to exercise. Another idea is to teach your American shorthair how to walk on a leash. And yes, walking your cat on a leash is indeed possible. You just need a proper leash and harness, and a lot of patience. 7. Taking care of American shorthairs. The American shorthairs coat is easily cared for by combing or brushing it a couple of times a week to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. The thickness of the cat's coat, and the amount it sheds vary based on climate and time of year. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. American short hairs like their meals, so they can easily become overweight. To prevent obesity, measure their food instead of free feeding them. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep an American short hair as an indoor-only cat to protect him from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping him indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this talented hunter. American short hairs who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. 8. American short hairs to children and other pets. The laid-back but playful American short hair is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He can learn tricks and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He will get along fine with dogs if they don't give him any trouble. He is a skilled hunter, but he may learn to leave pet birds or other small animals alone if he is introduced to them at an early age. When in doubt, however, separation is best. Always introduce any pets, even other cats slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.